In the previous lesson, we learned about adding material to the different objects of this drawing. And in this lesson, I will tell you about modifying the materials which are already added. And also I'll tell you about creating our own material using texture map. So you must have noticed that in the previous lesson, I left this picture frame and there was no material assigned to this picture frame because we will create our own custom material for this picture frame and we will apply it here. So for creating our own material, go to the material browser and click here to open it. So here we have it material browser. Now here we have a global material which is generally applied to all the materials when no material is assigned to them. So here's the global material. Locate this material, then right click on it and select duplicate. Now this will create a duplicate of this material. Let's give it a new name. So I'll name it as texture map. So let's name it as texture map and press enter. Now I will modify this texture map. So let's select it and click on this edit material button. Now this material editor will pop up. In this material editor, expand this generic option and click on this image. Now here on my desktop, I have an image with name fish. So let's select this image, click on open. Now the image will be loaded here and we need to again modify the properties of this image. So let's double click on it. And now here we have this texture editor. Now scroll it a little bit downward. And here you will be able to see the sample size of this image, which is 12 inches or one feet. So we need to change the size. So I'll change the size of this image to 2.4 feet. So let's type 2.4 and press enter. And now the properties are changed and it is now shown in inches. So let's now close it and let's close it again here. Now I will apply that material on this picture frame for that let's locate the texture map and here we have it let's drag it and drop it here the material is applied and it's now looking like a complete picture frame here but still we have a little bit of problem here now when you look closely you'll notice that from here we have a line and from here the picture ends and from here the new picture starts and we don't have perfection in this frame. So in order to add the perfection that we need, we need to modify it. So for modifying it, go to this materials panel and click on this material mapping and select this box option. Now select the object on which you want to apply this material mapping. So let's select this 3D solid and press enter. Now you'll notice these grips. Now these grips will be used to modify the mapping of this object or this image here. So using this grip on the right, I will expand it towards right so that it fits completely here. So now this fits completely in my frame. Also I'll click on this grip and I'll move it downwards so that it fits properly in this position as well. So here it is. Now it fits completely. Now whenever you are satisfied with this final image, press enter. And here we have it a perfect picture frame for our drawing using texture maps. Now we will modify some of the existing material also. So let's now orbit this drawing. And here we have this 3D solid in which we have applied a simple white paint color. So I will modify it and I'll add some illuminance to this object. So for that, go to this material browser again and locate the material. So this is the material here, white. So let's click on it and click on this edit material. Here you will see an option of self illumination. Let's click on it and the option will become active. And right now, by default, this dim glow is applied. Now if you want to change its brightness or luminance, then you can change it by directly entering the value here or you can change some predefined presets here. For example, you can change it to the brightness of an LED panel or to an LED screen or to a CRT television. So that's the different kind of brightness which you want. So I'll select simple LED panel because I don't want this object to be very bright. I only want to add a little bit of brightness to this. Now let's close it. And I'll also add a little bit of glossiness to this object, which was added here on the curtain wall. So on this wooden material, I'll add some glossiness. 
So this material is Andy Roba and in order to modify it we need to modify that material so let's locate it so here we have this Andy Roba let's select it and click on this modify. Now the material is loaded here and we need to add some glossiness. So here is the value for glossiness. So right now in this generic option we have glossiness set to zero. So let's change this glossiness value to 20 units and press enter. We are not going to make it too glossy. We'll only keep it at this value. And let's click on close and let's click on close. So in this way you can see that we can modify most of the properties which are already present in this materials and we can create our own material also which suits our need. So now this was all about creating our own material with the help of texture map and changing the properties of some of the existing materials. In the next lesson, I'll tell you about creating a completely different kind of material with the help of opacity map. And that material can be used to create objects like trees or vehicles that will give a more realistic look to our 3D rendering.